It's Thursday, which means this is a Jordan tutorial. However, he couldn't come in to record this. So I'm here to tell you in this After Effects video, we're gonna create infinity motion graphics that you can use as a background and also as overlay objects on top of your graphics. So just a little FYI, I do the tutorials on Monday and Jordan does the tutorials on Thursday. So if you're ready to take boring compositions and After Effects and bring them to the next level with some really cool infinity graphics, drop a like on this video because it helps us tremendously and let's get started. So here we have a basic composition with a simple title animation and to be honest it's kind of boring so to spruce it up we're gonna make a bunch of shape layers and create a repeating animation to overlay onto it. The first thing we need to do is create a new composition to put our shape layers in so click the new composition button. We want this comp to be longer than usual so increase the width to around 2500 then click ok. Now we can start creating our shapes so go up, select the ellipse tool, set fill to none, stroke to solid color, Stroke width to around 15, hold the shift key, then click and drag to create a perfect circle. Hold down the control key, then double click the pan behind tool to center the anchor point in the middle of our circle, and use the align tool to center the circle in the middle of the composition. Now for this composition, we're also going to have a control layer that we can use to easily change our colors, so go up to layer, new, adjustment layer, make sure it's highlighted, then go up to effect, expression controls, color control. Highlight our circle layer, go to Effect, Generate, Fill, then open up the layer, Effects, Fill, highlight the adjustment layer, then drag the Pick Whip tool from the color of the circle up to the color control on the adjustment layer. Now when I change the color on the adjustment layer, the color of the circle changes too, and when we duplicate the circle, the adjustment layer will apply to all of the duplicates. If we want to have more than one color variation for our circles, what we can do is highlight the color control on the adjustment layer, press Ctrl D to duplicate it, then duplicate the circle, attach the fill to the new color control. Now we have two color variations for our circle shape. Now highlight one of the circles, duplicate it, then move it somewhere random on the composition, press S for scale, and change its size by just a little bit. Repeat this process of duplicating the shape, moving it around, and changing its scale for both shapes until you have a good amount of circles populating the composition like this. Alright, so I've hidden all of the circle layers, and now we'll work on our next shape, which is going to be a big rounded line. So go up, select the rounded rectangle tool, set fill to solid color, stroke to none, then click and drag to create a thick line like this. Hold down control, double click the pan behind tool to center the anchor point, align the shape to the center of the comp again, then go up to effect, generate, gradient ramp. We'll take the start of ramp and set it to be off to the right side of the line, then take the end of ramp and put it off to the left side of the line like this. I'm going to change the colors to just two random colors for now just so we can see what we're doing easier. Now an issue we have is if we take the shape layer now and move it around the composition, the gradient's position doesn't move with it. To fix that, what we need to do is open the shape layer, open transform, open effect, gradient ramp, then drag the pick whip from start of ramp to position, and do the same with end of ramp. Then open the expression controls for start of ramp, add plus 400 at the end of the expression, open the controls for end of ramp, and add minus 400 to the end of the expression. Now when we move the line around the composition, the start and end of ramp will move along with the position. Next we can go up into our control layer, duplicate the color control two more times, open the gradient ramps effect again, and pick whip the start and end color to the two new color controls that we just made. Now we can change the color of our gradient from the expression control and it's going to apply to all of the lines that we make. So let's take our line, duplicate it, reposition it, but this time to resize it we'll open the layer, contents, rectangle 1, rectangle path 1, uncheck constrain proportions, then we can adjust the size to change the line's length and thickness. I'm going to repeat this process a bunch until we have a comp filled with different types of lines just like we did with the circles. And now we have this nice and diverse array of lines. Creating motion graphics from scratch can be time consuming, just like any other motion project. To help you save time and produce amazing work within minutes, we produce the Motion Graphics Advanced Pack, which contains over 750 templates for After Effects and Premiere Pro. You can preview every template before applying, then add it to your project with a click of a button. 
then you can quickly change the graphics and colors with the pre-made customization settings and then you have a full graphic complete in under a minute instead of an hour. Next, we're going to take all of the shape layers we have and create the animation that we'll be repeating later. So here we have all of the many different shape layers we've made so far and a few more in one big composition. And what we want to do is group them up and animate them going across the screen, but with different timings. So the first thing I'll do is take these different shape layers and just start randomly arranging them on the layer list. There's no science to this, just jumble them up so that you have a good variety of different shapes across all of your layers. Once you have them mixed up, we're going to divide the shapes into three groups. So select roughly one third of the shapes, change their layer color so that you know what group they're in, select another third of the shapes, change their color, then select the rest and do the same once again. Now that we have our shapes in three groups, highlight all of the shapes at once, press P for position, and set a keyframe for all the layers at the start of the timeline. Now take all of those shapes and move their position to be off to the right side of the composition like this. Then we'll move to 8 seconds on the timeline and move all of the shapes across the composition and off of the left side like this. Next, highlight all of the shapes in group 1, move their second keyframe to 6 seconds on the timeline, highlight all of group 2, and move all of their second keyframes to 7 seconds on the timeline. Highlight all of the layers, including the control layer, right click, select pre-compose, we'll name it to all shapes, and then click OK. Now we have three groups of random shapes all animating across the composition but with slightly different timings to add some texture. Lastly, we'll create a repeating composition and then overlay it onto our title composition. To make this animation repeat, we'll start by duplicating our shape pre-comp, move on the timeline to where you can see the end of the first shape comp, and drag the second along the timeline until they connect with each other like this. Repeat this process a few more times until the animation is at the length that you need. You can make it as long as you want. Now highlight all of the pre-comps, pre-compose them again, We'll name this Full Shapes, then click OK. We'll take this pre-comp and go back to our main composition with our title layer. I'm going to rotate the entire pre-comp by 45 degrees, position it to start filling out the composition, and then duplicate it a few times to fill out the rest of the background like this. Make sure the title layer is above all of the shape layers, then we want to have some shapes going in front of our title as well. So what we'll do is go to the Project panel, then duplicate the Full Shapes comp and All Shapes comp. Now go into Full Shapes 2, replace the pre-comps inside with All Shapes 2 by highlighting each pre-comp, then holding the Alt key and dragging All Shapes 2 onto them to replace it. We'll repeat this process until all of the pre-comps have been replaced. Now go inside of All Shapes 2, and what we'll do is delete two of the three groups we made so that there's a smaller amount of shapes. And now we can go all the way back to our main composition, drag Full Shapes 2 onto the comp, put it over our title layer, adjust the rotation to 45 degrees, reposition it a bit, and scale it up so that now we have another variation of shapes going in front of the title to add some depth. Now we have this awesome composition with a repeating shape animation covering our title. So that is Jordan with his epic voice on this tutorial. I'm glad we don't have to pay him. Anyway, you can download our free After Effects and Premiere Pro templates. Those links are below. You can get you know, over 100 free templates out of our packs. And always be creating.